Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, pretty excited. Alpha Outpost arrived today, so we're going to do the, the usual unboxing, and uh, I will admit I already peeked in this box because I was pretty excited, so I promise I'll act really surprised as they take stuff out like I'm seeing it for the first time too, but um, we're going to get to that in a second. I just want to go over something real quick. So, updates on the, uh, the Ganzo remodel giveaway. Um, so I got my first shipment of new materials in there, and I love Jade. Check out my other videos, you'll see. Here is standard Jade G10, right? You know how I had talked on the last video about renaming this kind of, we're going to call this like Jade Ghost or Ghost Jade or Light Jade or something? I've been trying to track down the right G10 that Wilkins uses for his Griptilian grips. Now, he uses it for other stuff too, but he calls it Swimming Pool Green. And it's very unique, and uh, you know nobody has been able to direct me on where to find this stuff before. Um, I absolutely love this color green, and it is clearly very different from Jade. Um, so I have searched and searched and searched. Finally, I think I found something that's at least relatively close to it. And you can see it's pretty damn similar. Um, I don't, so I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it, it looks really close to it. Uh, I know it's just slightly lighter, but you know what? Different uh, batches of material could have slightly different colors. Um, but I'm really excited because if you compare this to the Jade G10, it is, it's a very different color green. Um, and I really am excited to work with this and make something out of this. So I'm thinking in addition to the fly eye carbon fiber, we might do some of this jade color, which I think looks really, really nice with it, and maybe throw in a carbon fiber backspacer. But those are just thoughts I'm kicking around right now. You know, in the comments, let me know how you feel about that, if you like it. Let's get to the Alpha Outpost box. I've been subscribing to Alpha Outpost for about four months now, give or take, um, and most of what they send out is great. But let's talk about last month's box. First of all, is it April or May? I don't really know. I'm still confused. I'm gonna call it May. I'm gonna call this June. Maybe this is May. I'll put something in the title that's like May, June box. I don't know, but so anyway, the hostage survivor box. Um, I think it was a great concept. I think it had the potential to have some really good stuff in it. I was a little let down by the contents of it. Um, so were a lot of other subscribers to Alpha Outpost. So were a lot of YouTube viewers. Um, and here, here's where the story really means something to me. A lot of companies would just say, well, F you guys, you're locked in, you're, you're getting this box, you don't like it, so what? It really meant a lot to me when the CEO of the company sent out an email, and I'm going to paraphrase here, but it specifically said, it started with the words, you're right, and then went on to say, we recognize that box was a little bit of a dud, and we're really sorry we let you guys down, and we will make it up to you. You know what? They didn't have to do that. Um, but when a company shows that kind of integrity and that kind of loyalty to their customers, that locks me in as a customer to that company. I'm going to give them another chance. I'm going to give them more than one chance. Um, let's face it, there might be another box in the future that is not so exciting, but I know now that the guys at Alpha Outpost care and that they will make it up. And they uh, said they were including like a, a, a gift in this box to everybody else. Um, it was just really cool that they recognized that their uh, their subscribers felt a little bit let down and that rather than saying like Oh, well, we'll move on to the next one. They really they really gave a shit about that um, And this box actually is really cool Unfortunately, I'm gonna start by saying this too And if you just want to see the actual unboxing then I'll put right here What time to fast-forward to because I don't know until I get this all edited I think there's gonna be some people that are gonna have the same sort of this isn't what I was looking for attitude of this box Maybe this box isn't a cool tactical gear box, but not everything on the battlefield is relying on like tactical gear and knives and fanciness. And if your soldiers aren't healthy, they can't fight. If you are not healthy, you can't do what you have to do. And proper hygiene and grooming can play a big part. My background uh, originally, before I was in the Air Force, I spent a number of years in the Army as a combat medic. I don't like to admit this very often because people make fun of me, but I even went to nursing school, LPN school through the Army. Um, make fun of me if you want, but let me give better care to my soldiers out in the field. Anyway, um, look up in any military history book ever. You will find that the number of actual combat casualties in just about any conflict throughout human history is far outweighed by the number of casualties to disease, to infection, to um, just bad conditions. And so proper hygiene and good grooming can be the start to keeping a soldier alive in the field, which is why I like what's in this box. Plus, Listen, you know, me being active duty military, they tell us all the time, you are always an ambassador of your service to every civilian you meet. Um, so the Air Force has some 
relax standards compared to other services. Actually, that's no, we don't, but that's what everybody says. We maybe get away a little bit more because it's the Air Force, but um, you know, every week I get my hair cut, I get a high and tight, skin on the sides, number two on top. I make sure my uniform is pressed all the time, even though it's not required and kind of discouraged actually, but you know, I want to present that image and most of us do. So what's in this box is actually really cool. Uh, let's get to it right now. So this is the DOP kit, right? And that doesn't say much. I'm not sure what DOP actually means. I'm sure it explains it in there somewhere. Um, but what you have in here basically is a personal grooming kit, right? Or the starts to a really, really good one. And the stuff that's in here, I really like. So um, let's go ahead and go through this. Um, so here is the packing list. Uh, total value in this box is $105. Um, still, That's like double what we pay for it. Um, so you get your grooming kit manual, um, and by the way, I repacked this in the exact order that it was first, so you're seeing it like as if you were opening your own box. Um, <clears throat> so here's why it's called the DOP kit. It's got a little history to it, um, your grooming index, um, and I really like the look of this manual. Most of the manuals are kind of just like black and white. This is a really cool looking one. Um, way to go, Alpha. You guys really put together a nice package on this one. Um, so anyway, let's get through. So this is your uh, soap pouch. So you get this nice big, and it actually says, big ass brick of soap. Uh, and you know what? It smells pretty, pretty clean. Uh, and this is just a big ass brick of soap, and it fits in this pouch. So keeps it nice. Uh, on the packing list there, it says, hold your brick of soap so you never have to use a loofah again. So you just like kind of run this in the water and use it to lather up and everything. But um, this, I, I keep smelling this bar of soap. It's actually a nice kind of minty, clean smell. Um, so we've got that. This is the uh, cool hat. So this is, they, they gave this to everybody as like an extra addition. My son is gonna love this. He loves wearing hats that have anything to do with anything that I'm into. Um, so this is going to go directly to Aiden and he's going to wear it everywhere. And you know, some people are gonna sit there and be like, big deal, it's a hat. You know what, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice gesture. It's a good gift they're trying to make up to their subscribers. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you. This is where the majority of the stuff is. This is the uh, Alpha Outpost waterproof bag. So of course you've got your Velcro right there. You put a patch or a name badge or a name patch or something on it. That's pretty cool. Um, lots of room, nice big pouches. You can't really tell, but it's, it's all plastic lined. Um, so listen, you always need like a personal hygiene kit whenever you're deployed anywhere to carry all your stuff around. Um, if you even have showers, two are from the showers. It opens up, lots of space, lots of organization in there. So here's a strap to connect it to the bags and carry it around on the shoulder. Um, just lots of pouches and space to put stuff in. And it's Molly compatible too. Throw that on a backpack somewhere. Um, it comes with barber shears. And you might be saying, big deal, barber shears, what do I need those for? Um, these things are sharp as hell and they are very precise. So let's say you get this and you're not thrilled at barber shears you can throw this into a medical pack and it is great for cutting through anything, clothing, bandages, whatever, without getting stuck on stuff. Um, really, really sharp scissors, um, very nice to have. I'm not trying to rush through this, but it is pretty damn hot out. It's like 90 something degrees out here and I don't want to sweat all over this stuff. Um, inside, a few more items. So, metal comb. Um, you know, I, I swear every morning when I'm getting the boys ready for school, I'm looking for a comb. So this is actually pretty useful to me, but the fact that it's like a nice stainless steel comb means that it's not going to break. You don't have to worry about getting snapped in half. Not very heavy, um, but still tough. Here's some shaving oil, um, Huckleberry Pre-Shave. So you would use this instead of shaving cream. Uh, and there's some instructions there. I'm really interested in how this works. One of the things I absolutely hate about my job is that I have to shave every day. I wish I didn't have to do that. I don't want to have a big bushy beard. Um, I'm not looking to operator it out like that or anything like that. Um, but shaving every day is just a pain. I hate the time it takes. But let's see if this uh, makes it any more pleasurable or, or less pain in the ass to do. Yeah, some nail clippers. And yeah, again, you're like, oh, freaking nail clippers. That's real good. Let me tell you something. These do not feel like those cheap Walmart nail clippers that you're gonna buy. These are lightweight, but they are sturdy. Like, they are tough. And any good medic knows a soldier lives on his feet or her feet these days. Um, there's any number of things that can happen to your feet 
many of which are toe fungus related. I mean, that's where an infection can start. I could talk about changing your socks and keeping your feet dry for hours and hours and hours, but I don't wanna do that. Then inside the pouch, this is one of my favorite parts. Um, I've always wanted to try shaving with a straight razor and I'm terrified to do it. I'm terrified to put a razor blade next to my neck, but this is a really nice one. Um, it's nothing too fancy, right? So you don't have to worry about messing up a really super expensive piece of gear out in the field or something. But it's got the Alpha Outpost lasered on it. Um, it is, of course, it's razor sharp. It's sharp as hell. Uh, take my word for it. I'm not going to do anything to it. It's got some, you know, production packing oil just to keep it all nice. I'm going to practice a little bit on maybe my arm or leg with this before I put it near my face. But I'm really excited to try this out. So here's an Alpha Outpost patch, and this is cool because this is the exact size and shape of a flight suit name patch, um, or you know an American flag patch you might put on something. So I'm going to put it on the waterproof bag for now, even though it already says Alpha Outpost, so I put something else on there, but I might put that on something else later. I love this because it's very smart ass. Share us or the terrorists win. That's pretty cool. Um, and then finally, we've got a very nice like microfiberish uh, face towel. Never have too many of these out in the field. I have those microfiber super towels I always take when I deploy because they fold up really neat and small. I might use this right now just to wipe the sweat off my brow. Um, but yeah, you'd want that anytime you're out there doing any kind of hygiene stuff. And then a couple cool decals and stuff inside. Um, the tactical shit sticker, run your gun, not your mouth. Oh, I have use for that. And then 10% off, nice. Uh, another grunt style sticker. I really like this one. Actually, I know exactly what this is going to go on. Um, some more discounts if you want to get some more of any of this stuff. And then another cool sticker just to put on stuff. Probably put that in an ammo can or whatever. But like I said in the beginning, I understand not everybody's going to be into this box and not everybody's going to understand why this is, in fact, tactical type equipment if you look at it the right way. Um, I'll tell you what, though. I feel like uh, the disappointment from the last box is totally made up for. Um, I think this is just really cool. Some of the past Alpha Outpost boxes uh, were not strictly field gear. There was one called the Medic that I wish I'd get my hands on, but they're all sold out. There's another one called the Gentleman, which just had gentlemanly items that I really wish I'd get my hands on, but they're all sold out. So not everything has to be guns, guts, and glory to be useful and cool out in the field. I really, I really think that they have um, put in the time to make up for the disappointment of the last box that a lot of us felt, um, showed us that they really care about us as customers. And yeah, I can't wait for my next box already. Um, now the trouble is I have to wait a whole nother month. Um, so anyway, there's the dop kit for it. I might actually, I might try out a lot of this stuff tomorrow morning as I'm, as I'm getting ready for work. So let's talk about some quick uh, updates before we go. Okay. So still got this in progress. We already talked about that. Um, I have a whole nother shipment of materials arriving from USA Knife Maker. Uh, tomorrow and then another shipment that should be arriving from uh, some other place I can't remember uh, maybe Alpha Knife Supply the day after that uh, and I'll make sure I video that stuff and let you guys see what materials we have to work with you know for more suggestions for how we're gonna redo those ganzos I've been carrying this little guy around um, you guys will find out why in one of the next videos um, I haven't carried in a while but big plans for this little guy right here so you'll find out about that and the Contigo versus the XM24 video. I'm gonna do it, I just, I've got so many different things in the works right now, I kinda wanna finish one off before I start another one. You guys can kind of anticipate that that video will come after we're done with the Ganzo giveaways, uh, after I'm done with this remodel that's gonna take place really soon, and then we'll roll into the next set of tests. I still have the uh, Benchmade um, Griptilian blade steel test video uh you might not remember but i talked about it a long time ago and i never got to follow through with it so i have that to do also um by the way in case you're wondering so kevin wilkins grip right there with a snake river knives um custom damascus 551 blade that's beautiful isn't it i love this so much all right guys anyway that's it short video today hope you enjoyed it um thank you alpha outpost for listening to your subscribers and giving us a cool box can't wait for next month's um, you guys keep commenting on what you think um, and what you want me to do with those Ganzo knives. And uh, the first giveaway should be in about a week and it'll follow 
uh, once a week after that until we get rid of all six of those gowns on us. All right, so as always, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll be back again real soon.